Hello and welcome to the second video on chapter 14 of Government in America. Uh, so having discussed who's in the bureaucracy, let's talk a little bit more about what the bureaucracy does. Bureaucrats are important because they actually implement the policies that Congress and the President decide on. So let's say Congress passes a bill setting a new tax policy and the President signs it. Someone needs to change all the forms and computer programs and make sure that people actually pay the right tax under the new policy. That's what the bureaucrats have to do. If they can't implement the policy the way that Congress or the President want, then the policy might not have the results that they want, and that might be bad for the elected official. When government officials could not get the website for health insurance exchanges working properly at the launch, that created large political problems for the Affordable Care Act, for the Democrats in Congress, and for President Obama. So. How the bureaucracy works and whether the, the bureaucracy works well matters both in terms of policy outcomes and political outcomes. Now, no elected official intends to have a bureaucracy implement a preferred policy poorly. No one wakes up in the morning and says, how am I going to do a bad job of this? Uh, you know, short of some sitcoms, I guess. Um, so what goes wrong? Um, one thing can be that the law or the executive order doesn't give clear instructions, so the bureaucrats aren't sure how to carry it out. Uh, if the president tells immigration officers to focus on dangerous cases but doesn't give enough guidance on what counts as dangerous and what doesn't, the immigration officials are going to have to sort of make up their own minds about that, and they might not implement the policy the way that the president intended. Um, if some parts of the bureaucracy have developed good relationships with the interest groups that care about those bureaucrats' work, then the bureaucrats might be inclined to act in a way that helps the interest groups. Um, for example, there have been cases where financial regulators who are supposed to go into banks and uh, other financial institutions and make sure they're following the rules, sometimes they haven't been as strict as they could be with certain institutions because they didn't want to damage their relationship with the institutions. You know, they wanted to still be on good terms with the bank, so they might have been a little more lenient um, with the way they interpreted the regulations. Another problem is that if Congress does not give the bureaucracy enough money to implement the policy, the policy is not going to be implemented well. You can't collect all the taxes that people owe if you don't hire enough people to process and audit the paperwork. Um, and, of course... On top of all of these, if the program was just designed poorly in the first place, the bureaucrats might have trouble actually making the, uh, the process work. So with all of these pitfalls, you know, uh, it's important that the bureaucracy find a way to avoid them or overcome them because the bureaucracy has a lot of power over our society and our lives. Um, to a significant degree, that's because of government's regulatory role. Now, generally speaking, America has a free market system. If I own a business or a piece of land or a tool, I can decide what to do with it. That's the idea of capitalism in the free market. But America is not completely free market. You know, at least since the Gilded Age, the American government has decided that a pure, anything-goes, laissez-faire capitalism uh, leads to abuses. So the government has set rules and regulations about what businesses and individuals are allowed to do. They have tried to set limits. So we have regulations about how large a company can get or what kinds of substances you can release into the air uh, and many, 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 many more regulations. The proper scope of those regulations has been and continues to be a major political controversy in America. Um, you know, one of the things that a lot of elections get fought over the actions of bureaucrats are the front line of that conflict. What are our elected officials going to tell our bureaucrats to do, and then how will those bureaucrats make decisions that affect the rest of us? Now, the conservative side of the political spectrum tends to want to have fewer regulations because people on that side of the spectrum say that the regulations will restrict people's freedom. If the government is telling you, you must do this or you must not do that, then that's a choice that you or a company or a group doesn't have. So uh, when conservatives gain political power, one thing they tend to favor is deregulation, 
the process of undoing regulations that already exist. One thing that President Trump and the Republican Congress were able to do successfully in 2017 is to undo many of the regulations that President Obama had implemented in 2016. Uh, so that's deregulation. A rule was there, you took it away. Now, related to deregulation is privatization, which is taking a task that had been done by people who work in the government and then hiring a private company to do it instead. So if instead of the government hiring people to work for the IRS, for example, uh, if instead the government just signed a contract with H&R you know, Block or some other company to do taxes, that would be an example of privatization, you know, a, a fictional one. Um, so again, that will wind up moving a certain amount of uh, power and decision making out of the government and out of the bureaucracy uh, and into other hands. Um, in, for the most part, people on the liberal side uh, of the political spectrum don't like deregulation and privatization because they favor an approach that has the government taking more direct action um, to uh, address issues in society. So if the bureaucracy has so much power and is so fought over, uh, how do the elected officials make sure it responds to what they want? Because the bureaucrats aren't elected. A lot of them will serve for years, decades. You know, they'll have careers in the bureaucracy. Um, in, in a democracy, we don't vote for the bureaucrats. We vote for the bureaucrats' bosses. So how do the bosses actually boss the bureaucracy around? Um, now, one thing that presidents can do to exercise some control over the bureaucracy is appoint the heads of their departments, the supervisors. The president can also issue instructions, such as executive orders, to be specific about what uh, they want the bureaucrats to do. Now, executive orders do not have to be approved by Congress, so they are a way for the president to act even if the president is not getting along with Congress. Now, at the same time, Congress is not powerful powerless, I'm sorry, Congress is not powerless over the bureaucracy either. Um, Congress writes the laws in the first place that the bureaucrats have to implement. The Senate has the power to confirm or reject the president's appointees to head up the bureaucracy. Um, both chambers are able to hold oversight hearings um, to investigate how the bureaucrats are operating. So uh, when uh, Republicans in the House of Representatives didn't like the way the IRS under President Obama was operating. They held hearings and brought people from the IRS in to testify to find out what was going on um, you know, and make them defend their decisions. And in the end, once again, we come back to Congress and the power of the purse. If Congress really disapproves of what a certain group of bureaucrats are doing, Congress can just cut their budget so that they can't do it anymore. Um, so... Uh, hopefully, uh, that gives you some sense of the tug of war uh, over the bureaucracy and the direction of the bureaucracy and uh, gives you an overview of why the bureaucracy plays such an important role uh, in the day-to-day -day results of American government. Um, so um, that'll wrap up our discussion of this chapter. Uh, I'll leave you with these final um, questions for thought and discussion.